The 2019 elections for the House of Representatives of the Philippines will be the 35th lower house elections in the Philippines, and will be held on May 13, 2019. All seats in the House of Representatives of the Philippines will be contested. The winners will serve in the 18th Congress of the Philippines from June 30, 2019 to June 30, 2022. Each voter has two votes, one for the voters one of 243 congressional districts, and one for the party list election. In the district elections, campaigning is decidedly local. While candidates may represent a political party, the parties themselves make no attempt to make a national campaign. Party list elections are national in scope, where parties represent different socio-cultural and demographic groups. The two groups of congressmen are in a 4 to 1 ratio. Elections at the districts are via the first-past-the-post system, while the party list system is in a modified hair quota with a 2% election threshold, where the party with the most votes gets at three seats, the other parties with at least 2% of the vote get two seats, and other parties with less than 2% of the vote get a seat each until all party list seats are filled up. Candidates are expected to be either for or against President Rodrigo Duterte. As the Philippines has a multi-party system, those who are for, or against, Duterte may find themselves against running each other. Other districts that may be seen as safe seats may see a candidate elected unopposed. Several seats have not been apportioned since 1907. Gerrymandering on some newly apportioned seats and entrenchment of political dynasties make competitive races in so-called swing seats be rare. Duterte's PDP Laban is expected to win close to majority of the district seats due to Padrino system where the party of the president always controls the House of Representatives. The Liberal Party is expected to the leading party to oppose PDP Laban. Electoral system The Philippines uses parallel voting in its lower house elections. There are currently 297 seats in the House, 238 of these are district representatives, and 59 are party list representatives. The law mandates that there should be one party list representative for every four district representatives. District representatives are elected under the plurality voting system from single-member districts. Party list representatives are elected via the nationwide vote with a 2% soft election threshold, with a three-seat cap. The party in the party list election with the most number of votes usually wins three seats, the other parties with more than 2% of the vote two seats, and the parties with less than 2% of the vote winning a seat each if the 20% quota isn't met. Campaigning for elections from congressional districts seats are decidedly local, the candidates are most likely a part of an election slate that includes candidates for other positions in the locality, and slates may comprise different parties. The political parties contesting the election make no attempt to make a national campaign. Party list campaigning is done on the other hand, is done on a national scale. Parties attempt to appeal to a specific demographic, such as local indigenous groups, leftists, women, laborers, etc. Polling is usually conducted for the party list election, while pollsters may release polls on specific district races. In the district elections, pollsters do not attempt to make forecasts on how many votes a party would get, nor the number of seats a party would win, they do attempt to do that in party list elections, though. Participating parties Contesting district elections The seats held by each party is expected to change by the time candidacies are declared in late 2018. Contesting via the party list system The parties under the Maccabayan bloc were formerly supportive of Duterte's policies, until Duterte suspended peace talks with the Communist Party of the Philippines. Akbayan is seen as opposed to Duterte's policies. Other parties are generally supportive of Duterte's policies. District changes Reapportioning, redistricting, the number of seats is either via national reapportionment after the release of every census, or via piecemeal redistricting for every province or city. 
National reapportionment has not happened since the 1987 constitution took effect, and aside from piecemeal redistricting, the apportionment was based on the ordinance from the constitution, which was in turn based from the 1980 census. These are House HB, and Senate SB, bills that pertains to redistricting. Successful reapportionments that were passed into law are highlighted. Five new district seats were created, two in Isabela where the entire province was redistricted from four districts to six, and one each in Cavite, where the sixth and seventh districts were redistricted into three, Aklan, which was split into two districts, and Laguna, where Calamba was separated from the second district. As there are now 243 districts, this meant there should 60 party list seats, at least 20% of the total, an increase from 58. The 18th Congress shall then have 303 representatives. Retiring and term limited incumbents Term limited These representatives are term limited, and are not allowed to run in 2019. Retiring These congressmen are not term limited, but won't run. Vicente Alcala, PDP Laban, Quezon II. Running for Governor Arlene Arcias, PDP Laban, Laguna I. Running for Mayor of Santa Rosa, Laguna Blito Atinza, Buhay Hayan Umabong, Party List. Atinza said that if he doesn't see any significant change under Mayor Joseph Estrada, he will run for Mayor of Manila. Virginel Byron, National Unity Party, Iloilo IV. Brian announced in May 2018 that he will run for governor of Iloilo. Juan Pablo Bondic, PDP Laban, Pampanga IV. Bondic will most likely run for governor of Pampanga, according to the Central Luzon PDP Laban chairman. Pia Cayetano, Nationalista, Taguig II. Senator Cynthia Villar that Cayetano will be included in the Nationalista Party senatorial lineup. Vincent Crisologo, PDP Laban, Quezon City first. Running for mayor of Quezon City. Gwendolyn Garcia, PDP Laban, Cebu third. Running for governor. Danilo Suarez, Lacas, Quezon third. Running for governor. Vacancies. These congressmen left office before their terms expired, and were not replaced. For district representatives, as the 17th Congress has not called for special elections, these seats remain vacant until the signed die adjournment. For party list representatives, the next person on the list would assume office. In both instances this happened, the next person on the list replaced the person who resigned. To pay along, NUP, Sulu first. Died on June 30, 2016, before taking his oath of office. Mark Villar, Nationalista, Las Piñas. Resigned after appointed as Secretary of Public Works and Highways on August 1, 2016. Jum Jainuddin Akbar, Liberal, Vaseline. Died on November 11, 2016. Maximo Dalog, Liberal, Mountain Province. Died on June 3, 2017. Henadina Abad, Liberal, Batanes. Died on October 8, 2017. Marginal seats. These are the marginal seats that had a winning margin of 5% or less, in ascending order. Results Per district References <references>